You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. Yo guys, what's going on and welcome to the return of World Dependent episode 3. Hope you're going to enjoy this episode, it does contain some stank towards the end. Um, I'm still not quite sure what to think about it, but it, it happens and uh, yeah, very happy about it as well. So we're starting off with um, just trying to get some more prayer pots. You get snake grass from Chaos Druids along with lots of Rana weeds and vials of water. So I can literally come here and just camp and make, make my prayer pots on the go. Um, also get other herbs and gems, which is pretty useful. So after killing about 400 of these Chaos Druids, I get 6 full prayer pots and a fuckload more. Um, ran out unfinished potions, 21 nature runes, 52 law runes. Um, but yeah, you see here how much they're actually all worth, not that it really matters to me. But, you know, if you're poor, it's a good little money making method, 180k. Probably took me an hour to kill 400, maybe a bit more. Um, and then there's my looting bag as well, with loads of irrits and qualms. So, I always tend to bring my anti-PK gear when I'm doing Wieldy Slayer, because more often than not, every task I will get attacked. Um, go in here with the, the, the DDS, almost like pretty much red bar him. This guy's using an Abbey Dagger. It just goes to show like how many people just risk shit in the wieldy. You just wouldn't... Like, who the fuck PKs with an Abbey Dagger? It looks sick, not, I'm not going to lie, but um, yeah, I risk my HP a bit too much here going for the DDS and he just... He, he twats me at 27, good fight bro. Um, yeah, he gets my bolts, which was a bit annoying, but life goes on. Then I see a scold guy who's obviously like attacked a bot or something. He doesn't look like he's there to PK. I chuck a TB. Luckily, it hits first time despite being in black dehyde. Um, it's quite a common method actually. If you want to TB yourself and you don't want the, the robe switch, um, just just TB in dehyde. You may you may splash a few times, but eventually it will hit. Um, this guy's wobbling now. He thought he could get away by getting the dragon to attack me or him, but I eventually kill him. And because he's scold, we get the glory. We get the rune crossbow. Um, and we also get his rune bolts, which is a nice little PK. I'm having problems with my Camtasia at the moment. When I live record, it just makes this beeping noise. It's really, really frustrating. Um, so yeah, that's why all this episode, I'm afraid, is going to be pre-recorded and like narration. But um, yeah, we <laughs> find this random skull bot. Now, I'm pretty sure from the previous episode that this isn't actually a bot. You can probably tell by the way he eats and how much his HP, HP goes up. But that doesn't mean I can't kill him. It doesn't mean just because he's got an ult doesn't mean that he can't die. I get very close to killing him, in fact. My D-Bolt's going in. Um, switch back to the DDS shortly. And yeah, he just got very, very lucky, I'd say. Um, he was TB'd originally, that's why I, I couldn't get the... Uh, that's why he tellies, basically. It says that player. This That player currently means this spell. So yeah, I had him to see if he's going to come back in, in my world, but he, he didn't. Um, this guy wants a shout-out. I would love to try and pronounce your name, but it's like Omnias? Om Om Omnias? Um, but yeah, thanks thanks for uh, watching this series, bro. Then I find a target which happens to be a looter bot. So <laughs> straight away start attacking her. Um, and yeah, you know, she might have been here ages collecting loot. So I decided to kill her and um, get the, fi the, the final hit on her there. 12 for the KO. And on the floor, we get a mysterious emblem, which is pretty funny. Um, quite hard to get during Wildy Slayer, but nice easy one on this bot. Had a spider's task, and I tend to go to this this hill if I want to AFK. Um, and if I'm not AFK, I can kill the small spiders. But when they are on aggro, I hop round and collect all the sapphires as well. And on a greater demon task, I pull the rune full helm, which is always a lovely alka ball. I think it outs for about 22k. Here's me doing the normal spiders. Um, I get an emblem, which I didn't get on record. But yeah, trading those two emblems in for 100k points, which leaves me now with pretty much 400k total. Next up was my rogues task, pulling in another emblem, and also uh, while I was on waiting for them to spawn, I spam these chests, and they they give me blood runes, uh, death runes, and nature runes. Quite quite low amounts, but pretty useful. They do add up. This PK came along. Um, I saw his scout. This is the intro clip, obviously. But yeah, really good uh, spot to hide, and that door will eventually jam if they keep trying to open it, and you will log out from any clan or anything. It's a really good spot that. Uh, then I had a scorp scorpion task right at the end, so I was very low on food. This guy in full car rules and mystics, not, you know, he hasn't got overheads. He doesn't have an anti-venom, so he's just sat, I mean, if I had a bit more food, I probably could have killed him, I think. You know, he's just got robes out, I'm running around, he hasn't even got overheads up yet. It's just pretty mental. Um, 
you know, seeing like a Scorpio poison hitting 20s on him. I'm just like, what is this? Um, but he goes in for the DDS. He does get the kill. So fair play, man. But um, yeah, pray range at Scorpio next time, bro. Uh, again, a nice little main fight. This uh, Crown Town guy, he, he, he watches a series. He was actually off me. I was trying to kill Callisto with range. It was really slow. But the guy he was fighting tried DDing on him and logging out. So I just ran over, chucked in a, uh, a range attack, and that guy was just like, pussy. But um, yeah, I killed him for him, and obviously he got the loot. I told him just to leave. Like, you know, he he, he got the loot, so he, he looted up, and uh, he was like, do you want anything? I said, no, because it's kind of like a deliberate drop almost in, in that sense. I then got bored of killing Callisto and found a Verica, so I started attacking him. And his mate comes in, I could tell he was going to skull from, from a mile off, so I was like, fuck it. So I, I call Crown Town, I, I'm, I'm not got, I've not got the resources to be fighting back, I've got no prayer, I'm scold. Um, so I call, call my buddy in, he runs in straight away, freezes the Verica. His mate's just like, what the fuck, I'm getting out of here. So his mate runs away, I think, and um, me and him just focus this Verica. He, like, Callisto's on him as well. It should have been a really easy kill, but if you look at my, my prayer and my run, I've got four run, I've got zero prayer, I've got like... I've got no food actually, full HP somehow. Um, got one spec in me, so I, I use that in a bit, but Callisto just doing its work. Callisto's a great friend, I mean, yeah, he can fuck me over sometimes, but more often than not, he'll attack the PK. So if this Verica dies, I mean, assuming he's protecting item, which he probably was, you're looking at full Verix minus the skirt. Um, he might have had a plus one as well, we didn't know about, I'm not sure. But I was out of run, so I couldn't catch up, and he actually dupes us and runs west. He gets away from the Major, and I die. So fair play to the Verica. Good job there, bro. Um, but I was able to get back and get my Dragon Dagger and my arrows and everything. So, yeah, happy days. Um, looting away, and, yeah, just normal food here. But in this pile, you get a white headband. So someone was PKing with that, um, which is actually a clue a clue step for the Wilderness Volcano clue, um, Hard Clue Step. And so, yeah, I'm going to be keep, keeping hold of that. I'm just going to have to get a, I think it's a Crozier you need. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's crazier. Anyway, that uh, Zerker was unable to kill me there. So then we attack uh, Callisto. I'm just going to show you my my way of luring it. I've got a video out on that, but yeah, if you if you hunt into my YouTube channel, you'll, you'll find the uh, the lure spot. I should fuck it up and have to redo it quickly, but um, yeah, it's no harm in that. And yeah, just say spot and away. And just as I lure it, in comes some PKs. Um, not very happy about that, but it's fucking wieldy. I can't complain. Fucking hell. So this guy's tearing me up, really. There's two of them, so I'm like, fuck it. If I bring it to multi, Callisto may may help me out, he may not. But I'm not going to kill them in single, put it that way. So I lure Callisto over with them. And we're fighting away. This is a guy's 108 combat with a ballista. His mate's just freezing me. He's like, love the vids, gets hit at 53, and then my range and another Callisto hit stacks him. Then this guy runs in and hits me at 30, 32. There's a Mr. Uh, mud battle staff on the floor, which is so useful. I could so do with that. So I'm panicking right now because I know his mate is just going to try freeze me off. So I buy an Anacol teleport. Cost me 10k bounty hunter points, man. But yeah, that's a fifth of an emblem. Run back, trying to get the mud battle stuff off the floor. His mate does freeze me. I'm just looking at all that loot like, fuck you, man. Fuck you, I want that. The DDS, like the arrows, even the potions are so useful. His mate runs in with three seconds left on my um, freeze timer and picks it up. So angry. But fair play, you guys worked. You worked well together there and uh, managed to save your loot. So congrats. Emblem from the Bears, and I finished my spider task, and I see these two level 93s, exactly same combat as me, I'm like, right, let's go play with these guys, you know, I mean, it's, it's a quicker a quicker way back to Edgel if they kill me, but if I can get one of them, then happy days, so again, I lure them to Callisto, um, you know, people just don't quite, they, they underestimate Callisto, I think, and it, it can fuck people over so hard, um, I'm going in for the, the D-Mace spec here, completely out of food, and uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm out of food anyway, I hit pretty big, but Callisto unfortunately was safe spotted there, and they do kill me. But yeah, free teleport back to Edgeville, get a new task. Next task was um, so Earth, uh, yeah, Earth Warriors, get the emblem. Next task after that is Dragons, get another emblem. And then I hop, um, just waiting to, well, trying to anti PK here. And this pure staff bashes me instantly. I'm like, oh, happy days. Pretty sure I'd finished my task, so I was just, you know, wanting to use up my potions and that. I haven't actually got any fucking potions looking at my adventure now, I don't know. How this managed to happen. I'm like, this needs to stop. He's going in for the DDS. He's quite a good, quite a good pure. Um, until this happens. I run in with my DDS. Hit pretty good. He prays me. I hit really shit. But he's still low HP. And he dies to the poison. What the fuck, man? Happy days, mate. Ancient Star. First Ancient Star PK. Really useful. For when I do get onto um, Ancients. Once I've finished the hard diaries. 
47 dragon bolts, combat bracelet, glory, fucking loads of food. His mate's trying to, like, kill me. I'm, I get quite unlucky not to kill him here, I suppose. I don't know. Nah, not really, but I'm going for the DDS and hit pretty, pretty shit. But I managed to escape and teleport to Corp Cave. Before I do that, I try to run back in DDS and when he's low HP. Look at that path thing. What the fuck? I just run north. But yeah, still level 20 wieldy, so I was able to get to Corp Cave and tally out to safety. Happy days. But here's the, here's the loot, yeah. About 300k. Pretty fucking good, really. So still here at uh, the Green Dragons. A very long task. I think it's like an 85 dragon task, so probably ran into about 6 PKs, I'd say. This guy's got a Kabo and a D skim, and then look at this into the Debo. Okay, so he's definitely risking, I'd say, Kabo in this in this sense. Very unlucky not to get the kill there, and uh, he's quite smart. He ran all the way east, kept freezing me, and then just ranging me. And for some reason, sometimes you can't range back if they're using like a crossbow or whatever. I can't use an MSB. He runs north, completely out of food, and uh, gets a log. Pretty angry about that. But yeah, another emblem. They're coming in, boys. They're coming in. And if you didn't know, I'm saving up for the Dragon Battle Axe. And this was the last one I needed, I believe, um, for 600k points. <laughs> Just as I get that emblem, I'm about to go to Edgeville and trade it in. This guy starts... Look at him. Look at this guy. Fucking Zami Robes and Fire Blast. I think he's in, I think he's in the wrong worlds. Back to free to play for you, sir. But chuck the TB. Take the armor off. Chuck the TB. And start ranging away. I mean... This, this is something else. I'm, I've never seen this. Okay, this guy, he's got a mate, so he's running back to his mate. Let's call his mate Jimmy. And this guy's Patrick, I'm killing. Patrick's just shitting himself right now. Look, he's just trying to dip in the trees. Save me, Jimmy. Jimmy's like, I've got you, bro, I've got you. So I'm just going around, I'm fucking trying to DDS this guy out. Jimmy accidentally fucking freezes Patrick. Patrick's fuming. He's just like, mate, wrong person. 27-21 to the face. Good fight, bro. Fucking... Um, Jimmy right now is just like, shit man, I've got a G-Mall, he went for the G-Mall, hit me twice with it, um, <laughs> he's just a monk rope splashing me, I go for the TV on this guy as well, I do manage to loot 400 death runes in the pile there, um, unfortunately I didn't actually see that staff, so I didn't get that, um, DDS in a way, this guy's trying to get back in Corp Cave, even though he's TP'd, even though it tells you that you can't go in if you're TP'd, um, ranging away, but that guy actually ran south and got away, so fair play to him. So after two weeks of slaying, I could finally purchase that beautiful Dragon Battle Axe, which is going to be so fun to try and PK with, um, you know, range into a D, a D Battle Axe. This is going to be quite interesting. It's also really good for melee, melee training, so I can spec and then use a restore potion, and it's the same pretty much as having a superset. 55 Slayer coming in. And then I was, like I said, killing a Chaos, Chaos Elders melee training with my D, D Battle Axe, and I, <laughs> I get off TS and just see this guy attacking me. He's actually a fan of my vids, I believe. Um, Don Don Snelly, Don Smelly, something like that. He's got a friend up north as well who's ranging me. I'm TB'd, I'm frozen, thinking I'm out of life. Um, but yeah, just trying to stay strong and keep my HP high. Easier said than done, especially in a minute. I think I go down to about four, yeah, 5 HP there. But um, managed to eat out of that, run to the altar. And I didn't realise, but his friend north couldn't actually attack me where I am now. Um, I thought he just ran away, but yeah, look, look back on the recording. And he, he can't attack. Oh, he can attack me. He's like level 80. Oh, no, he can't because I'm level 93. Okay, all good. I see. I understand now. Anyway, this guy's... He's doing a pretty good job. I don't I don't quite know um, how how what happens next happens. But yeah, Staff Bash there. Maybe not the greatest job. Um, ranging away. And I decide, fuck it. You know, I'm nearly out of food. Let's go for some specs. Hit a beautiful 22, but then a zero. I should have gone to my Dragon Battle Axe, but I didn't need it. Poked him a 19 with the the, uh, the Dragon Dagger, and look at that for some stank guys. Another ancient stuff. Mystic Road Bottom, uh, Blood Runes, Death Runes, loads of them as well. 78k cash, Rune Legs, Berserker Helm, 20 D Bolts, Glory, Rune Crossbow. Mate, I'm just so happy. And the potions. You, you guys don't understand how important these potion PKs are um, to keep me like anti PKing and stuff. So yeah, really happy with that PK. Um, and sorry, bro. I know you're a fan of the vids, but that's what happens sometimes. You can't win them all. Uh, I got a shout out from a friend telling me that there was a guy killing Chaos Druids with a blowpipe. I was like, fuck it, let's go for it. Um, this guy's actually got a sick account, um, despite him flaming me in Edgeville a bit later. He's, yeah, he's got quite a nice Zerka account, pretty much Max Zerka. But, um, I don't, yeah, was he trying to log, trying to jeep me here? But he obviously knows what he's doing with his overheads. Um, unluckily for him, he was completely out of food. Trying to run west, and I, uh, I get the get the last little range hit on him. He calls me a faggot. Not very really nice. I'm like sorry, mate. But yeah, about 20 random weeds. I ended up going back for, and um, 
yeah, just like loads of fucking lovely supplies there. So really happy with that PK. Back down here at Chaos, uh, the, norm the normal Chaos Druids, making some more prayer pots. This was about an hour and a half to two hours of loot. Um, actually, this wasn't in the final clip, but yeah, quite a lot of prayer pots there. So pretty happy with that. This guy, little fan here on my green drag task. I'm just dragging battle axe in a way. He's like, you're the real one. Bless them. Um, but you see this guy West, he was chasing some drag bot, I think. He comes back to me. Um, what combat is he? Probably be late 90s, I think. TV's me straight away. Fair play. Like, what? He's, yeah, he's 101 combat. Fuck, man. So, yeah, I, <laughs> this is like the quickest fight of my life. T bot on my 33. He's like, this, this other bloke's like, fuck him up. Um, and for some reason, this guy keeps his HP so low. He's got a whip. Pull out the dragon battle axe. Donk on the fucking head. 32. Good fight. Left, right. Good night. And he's just like, lol, what the fuck. Another awesome PK. Like, these guys don't risk because they just don't think they're going to die, I think. They, they don't understand that I'm 95 strength. It's kind of hidden. Maybe the chef's hat. But this guy's like, nice nice vids, bro. I'm like, welcome to YouTube. So shout out to you, Shark Like DDS. But um, yeah, some really nice loot there. Can't really complain. So, I hate narrating these sort of things because it's, it's, it's the same that happened in the last in the last episode with the Fury PK. I mean, and this is even worse, just for multiple reasons, but I come out of Corp Cave and I see this guy, um, Cannoning Ents, Prey Melee. I attack him immediately, chuck the uh, the TB in. He's got a Fury, I think it's a Fury, and a Blowpipe. I, I don't really even notice that at the time. I just thought, Cannonballs, let's kill him, fuck it. Um, so he's clearly AFK at the moment. He actually nearly kills me, to be fair, just with like... His blowpipe and venom. Um, and I get the kill, 31 KO. On the floor. Would you fucking believe it? Incoming the fucking memes, a toxic blowpipe. 2.6k Addy darts, 50k cash, um, loads of shit, full armor deal, robes, cannonballs, nature rooms. And do you know what? I was actually angry when I got this PK. And this guy runs out, says, big fan. To make it look even more fishy, someone's PM me saying, how's your gear looking right now? Um, I guess just out of interest, but. Yeah, like I say, this this actually made me angry because I'm like, any other weapon, any other fucking weapon, I'd be so happy right now. I mean, blowpipe's useful, don't get me wrong, but my history, man, it's not the drop I, I, I needed. Um, but what can I fucking do, man? I'm not going to drop it. I'm not going to not put this clip in the episode. It's what happened. I'm just like, look what the fuck happened. Uh, unlike the Fury, I never found out the story behind it. Whereas luckily, this guy comes back out to see what he had. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? He's just like, well, good game. I'm like, why the fuck are you risking blowpipe? And look at it, look at what he does now. AGS, Staff of the Dead, he's got on him. So he had Fury, Blowpipe, AGS, Staff of the Dead. What the fuck, who does that in multi? I mean, it just kind of, like I say, pissed me off. I hop worlds and die to corp, and then I'm able to run back and get my shit. But I like, dude, I'm like, dude, I make YouTube vids. I need to know why you're risking that. He's like, basically says he's anti PKing. Why he's got a Staff of the Dead to anti PK, I don't know. If you guys have any idea, let me know. But. Um, I get, I guess, I get the AGS part, but whatever. Um, he's been anti king on his Slayer tasks, and he was also questing on another account apparently. So yeah, bit mind fucked there, but um, I'm not going to complain. So I think as a collective group, what we need to do is come up with a way that I can obtain scales. Obviously, I can't do Zora. So a suggestion from Jordan, um, one of the Barry brothers. He he was thinking perhaps drop or trade in emblems, even to maybe community members, give them one emblem for say 250 scales or 500 scales, um, and that way I can you know keep it topped up at a sacrifice, or perhaps 100 wieldy kills or something like that, but if you guys have got any ideas on that, that'd be great. Um, obviously I've done Desert, Desert Treasure, so that means I've done Taurus Trap, which means I can make darts, I can get my feathers from Aviancies, and I can make my own darts from smithing. So darts are not a problem, it's only scales. So um, yeah, if you've got any ideas, that'd be great. But I, pff, I just look at that clip and it, it still makes me a bit angry, if I'm honest. Do I want a blowpipe? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that, that happened. So finally, all I want to do now is work towards some wieldy diaries, get every step done that I can do. Um, that way, you know, I get free XP and I unlock certain things which are going to be pretty useful. Um, and then work towards the diary steps which I actually haven't completed. So things like getting 75 smithing, and yeah, whatever else I need to do. 67 Slayer is one of them. But yeah, that's my next like mini goal. Um, obviously, anti PKing as well, which should be quite nice. But that's it for this episode, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, I'm just a bit fucking mind fucked about the whole thing. It just seems so unlikely. You know, last episode of PK Fury, this one of PK Blowpipe. What next? Claws? Oh, fuck.
fuck me. Imagine, imagine it won't be get Claw's next one, but whatever. I'm having such a good time on this account. I hope you guys are enjoying watching my progress as well. And um, yeah, I look forward to uploading the next video. I think the next video I may upload will be a community one from a couple weeks back. Um, it's quite funny. Hopefully I'll upload that to you guys midweek and then get another um, world dependent one out at the end of next week. So cheers guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you want and obviously our clan chat's world dependent. Team speak in the description. Bye.